Hey, what's up, folks? Here we are with another glorious update on the Deadpool mural. Uh, as you can see, I did a lot of fills and colors for Black Panther up top. I actually ran out of black, like my black is all done. Um, you know, my brushes have been kind of running out a little bit lately. And uh, I've been giving them a rest here and there. And then I'm able to use them again. So, so I'm going to have to re-up on some uh some black some black uh pigment micron or some markers whatever i'll figure it out um and then so what i decided to do was finish off the rest of the guns back here the only one that isn't colored in if you can see behind my ball head um is that double barrel looney tune shotgun right there which is those both of those barrels are going to be black the other guns I did are, you know, that silvery, um, I got to put the, the yellow, I'm going to put some yellow in there on the inside. Um, the silvery mid-90s, big, stupid, ridiculous Rob Liefeld guns uh, that I wanted to, to use. So I did the fill on those, that's pretty good, let's take a look at it. Not too shabby, not too shabby. It's looking all right. I really like how Black Panther came out with the colors. Uh, I put the dark, the dark blue on it to show the distinction between, you know, the body parts, the, the hand over the chest, because if I just did it in all black, it just looks like, you know, it's one, it's one image as opposed to, you know, his hand moving in front. So I did a lot of outline uh, with the blue to to distinguish you know between his hands and his neck his head you know I want to show some some mobility uh, you know some uh, like like layers to it really that's the word I'm looking for layers um, and just a uh, real quick so this the whole pose between him and Deadpool it, it's also it, it's inspired by a comic book cover but it's also inspired by Mortal Kombat if uh you look at the positions closely, like before the, you would go in and have your actual match with someone, you would see the two characters, like a Scorpion or Sub-Zero, you know, face to face like that with the poses. So that's, um, that's kind of what I wanted to do. So that's what I did do uh, with this here. So we're in the home stretch. Um, I just got to re-up, you know, I really wanted to finish this today. But I didn't realize that uh, I was running so low, because um, I, I thought I just thought I had enough juice in uh, my materials to to knock it out. But you know, things happen. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna keep you guys too much longer. But uh, that's pretty much it. So Black Panther's looking really good. Uh, I got to finish that hand right there. Finish the rest of that gun on Deadpool's back, and. Uh, yeah, then the next part over here in the corner, if you can see the um, the Deadpool over there, I'm going to be having him using his swords, and I'm thinking I'm going to do something special with like a reflection in the in the blades. So uh, I'll keep you posted on that. I don't want to give it away, but uh, but that's what it is so far, people. Thanks again for being on this journey with me. Um, you know, I've got a lot of positive feedback. It's been great. Um, and, and I'm going to I'm going to keep going and I got a few tricks up my sleeve with uh, some next few projects that I want that I'm going to be working on. So, um, you know, I'll keep you guys posted. Everybody enjoy your weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Deuces.